You have come a long way. I give you the welcome of our clan. These are curious companions you have. Might I ask the purpose of your visit? Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Dragon Age um, Origins. And I didn't know I was going to get into a conversation here. I went to um, the Brazilian woods or whatever. I guess this is where the Daily Shore at because that's where I just ran into. But along the way, we ran across some big ass spiders. <laughs> oh, like three different battles with them. Um, I have come on behalf of the Grey Warden, sister. The Grey Wardens? You have joined their ranks? How unusual! Excuse my surprise. I will take you to the Keeper right away. Hmm. I see we have a guest. And one of our own, no less. This one is from one of our sister clans to the north, Keeper. But claims to have come on behalf of the Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens? How unusual that one of our own should join their ranks. How did such a thing occur? It is a long story, perhaps another time. I had little choice in the matter. They ha may need all the assistance they can get. It's a long story, perhaps another time. Perhaps so. At the moment, I'm afraid I have little time to spare for long tales. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, perhaps we might introduce ourselves. I am Zathrian, Keeper and Haran of this clan. You are? My name is Corinne. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? So their first reaction to trouble is to flee from it. Curious. Do not allow our troubles to burden you. Though I suspect they may impact your mission. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Okay. Well, I mean, everywhere we've been, they've had problems. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest. But we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Hmm. There are Asha werewolves in the forest? There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Flemeth tells tales of such a time. Packs of possessed wolves akin to abominations roaming the land. It was a terrible age, now long past. The werebeasts are not all gone from this land, and the ones that stalk the Brazilian forests are proof of this. Mm. Why did they, the beasts attack you? They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself, and that that would be no trivial task to retrieve. So kind of like what happened with me. Okay. Um, but you're going to ask me to get it anyway, right? 
Hmm? You're talking about a werewolf. Well, I'm good at non-trivial tasks. <laughs> but you're going to ask me to get it anyway, right? I would not ask such a thing of anyone. You asked, did you not? Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. Um, have you considered seeking outside help? You said you could perhaps destroy the cur curse? There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. Hmm. I'll find the book ring for you. Have you considered seeking outside help? From whom? The children of the stone? The Shemlin? Do you truly think they have time to spare for us? Uh, he has a point. I'll find him. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Um, I have some questions. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice, Lanaya or Seyrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. How do I find him? Do you have any advice? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Tell me more about this curse the hunters suffer from. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang. But now any werewolf may infect someone with it. So did all werewolves everywhere stem from this witherfang? No. The ones from this forest, however, do. So if a werewolf bites me, then I will become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. Duh. Um, how do you know if you've been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. How did this curse start? That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. Okay, I'm going to ask about something else. Go on then. I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Okay, Delish Cam. Quest updated. Uh, say well, with her thing. Um, for the blight. Codex updated. Weather Fang. Another Fang is, according to the Keeper, a wolf. He is no ordinary wolf, however. He is a wolf possessed by a powerful spirit and the source of the werewolf curse that plagues the Brazilian forest. While Weatherfang is hundreds of years old and very powerful in his own right, the only way to end his curse is to cut out his heart and bring it to the Keeper. Okay. So we have a lot of things here. I know we got a chest here, but I doubt we can get into it. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Varathorn can help you. Um, Zerathorn said that I could have what's inside here. No, he didn't. Can I ask what's inside? Why? Surely even in your clan, there were things the Keeper kept private. Please do not ask again. All right. He didn't, he didn't tell me anything. Okay, never mind. Let's talk to you then. Andera Natishan Lathalon. My name is Lanaya, Zathrian's first. I hear your clan has moved on to the north and that you're now one of the Grey Wardens. Allow me to congratulate you for stepping into a world that few of our people even dream of. 
I wish I could do the same. No, you don't. Mm. Um, I had no choice in the matter. My little choice in the matter. If having freedom to choose also meant abandoning your destiny, would you have? No, I wouldn't. As I suspected, neither would I. Perhaps, since you have traveled in the outside world yourself, might I ask you a question or two? Sure. <laughs> For a fellow Dalish, anything. Do I look like I'm here to entertain you? No. Yes. Of course. You are carrying out an important task no, for my people. No, that's not what it I meant to do. It was selfish of me to impose on you. That's not what Perhaps I meant to do. there's something I can offer you instead. I can answer any questions you might have. Um, what can you tell me about your keeper? Nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself. He is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time. He is also a very good man who has lost much. The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. Uh, tell me about more about yourself. Well, lost more. What has he lost? I really shouldn't talk about that. That's something you should ask him about yourself. Okay. Tell me about yourself, then. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. How did you come to the Dalish if you were so young? My parents were servants to a human merchant whose caravans plied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. I was the only survivor, just a young girl, and the bandits took me. I was their servant for several years. Okay, so they abused you. Um, how bad could it be? At least you weren't dead. Oh, I'm sorry, it must have been horrible. It was. The long years of reflection have allowed me to come to terms with it, to put them in perspective. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. I owe them my life for that, and more. You said that the Dalish rescued you from bandits? The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. No one could stop him. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. He took me back to the clan, and I've been here ever since. Didn't you have family you could have returned to? It's possible I might have had some, maybe many. Zathrian offered to take me back, but I had no idea where I was from, and I wanted to stay with a man who rescued me. The clan is my family. Any others out there? It's best they believe that little girl died with her parents. For now, the clan is all I need. My old world could not have offered me all this, and the knowledge of a keeper as well. Perhaps one day, when I am keeper, I might inquire out of curiosity. I'm not sure what lies down that road except pain, however. Hmm. How did you become a keeper? I am not a keeper. I am Zathrian's first. Though because I was not born into the clan, becoming his first was very difficult. We Dalish have old traditions. The clans come from the ranks of the nobility that once ruled the Dales, you see. The keepers of those old clans have the strongest and purest blood that reaches back to the days of Arlathan. I had to compete against the other candidates for first. To be better than them in everything, simply because I was not of the old blood. Hmm. Do they resent your success? You must be proud of your accomplishments. I am. The ceremony where Zathrian anointed me as his first was the proudest day of my life. The clan has placed great trust in me. One day, I will lead them and be the one who secures our future. I should go. As you wish. Darth Shiro. And how did that happen? Okay. Um... Oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze. God of the craft? Who's that at? <laughs> Excuse me. God of... This carved wooden head represents the something or whatever. Uh, 
Um, I hate to just break into everything. <laughs> I suppose it'll let me know if I can't, though. Come on. How come you're not... You're... You're highlighted, but you're not letting me click on you. There you go. As you wish. Pile of scrolls. This appears to be various hand, first hand accounts of times. Um, Keeper of Secrets, the twins, Lord was young. Okay. Danish. Your clan's craft master is a great bow maker, or so Master Varathorn tells us. That's what I want to do one day. Work solely in shaping wood and making bows. All right, let's talk to him then. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Varathorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest, Andera Natitian friend. It has been some years since I met Master Island at the last gathering. He is still hailed, I hope. Mm, he was fine when I last saw him, yes. That is good to hear. Your clan is more familiar to us than most. Since we do not stray far from each other in this land, I met your father. For he was once keeper of your clan. <laughs> you carry many of his features. He spoke at a gathering, telling the clans that more of us need to voyage into the Shemlin world and learn their ways. He would be proud to see his daughter a Grey Warden, I think. I barely know anything about him. Ah, oh, yes, I... I understand the circumstances of his passing were... Tragic. It is unpleasant to speak of such things. Irabellos. Um, you seem quite advanced in the old craft, Master. What little of the craft I've learned has been passed on to me through generations. Such is the time it has taken us to learn a fraction of what has been lost. I do not make bows as fine as Master Islands, perhaps, but might have caused more than one Shemlin to drool at the thought of possessing them. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel, but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. Mm, what if I found some iron bark for you? I mean, I'm going in there. I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Uh, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. Okay, sounds good. Um, very well, I'll take a look when I'm in the forest. What kind of item would you make? I excel in making blades from the iron bark, or, or perhaps a breastplate. Provided there's enough wood, that is. Oh, that sounds good. Um, very well, I'll take a look when I'm in the forest. That would please me, so long as our hunters come first. I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. I don't have much money. Um, do you have a backpack? No, you don't. Plus fifteen shaving and bad breath. I don't know what these manuals do are for. All right, so. Uh, these are, I were okay, so this is tier three, tier two, um, it's a dagger one-handed, requires damage 4.80, critical chance, armor penetration, strength modifier, it's a little bit more, but I also got 4% attack on my other one. Hmm. Um. 
This is main hand here three. 720 is the same as what I currently have. Um, equipped. Why would chess and robes? It doesn't give you, it gives you 6% defense, or 6 plus defense. Hmm. Why would I want them? Um. My daily leather belt is better. Ooh, acid flask. I do want some of those because I like them. Um, I suppose I do. I need more of these. How many do I have? So I learned to. Um, oh, this is a regular injury kit, not a lesser injury kit. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Take one. Rare iron bark. Okay, that's my quest. All right. The scout's bow. Chest. Oh, wow. Um, elf light. Chance to stun. That's pretty cool. Alisax. I know I'm going to get lost here. I always do. Well, there's something up there. What is it? Okay. Elder of the Sun. Right. This carved head represents God of Vengeance. A lot of good stuff here. How strange that a Dalish should join the Grey Wardens. But how thrilling that a Dalish would also do so much and be so important. Okay, if you think so. Well, there's stuff all over out here. I'm just wandering. <laughs> Okay, I saw these people back here. I think that they're practicing. All right, we got a hunter, hunter. How strange to see a Dalish join the Grey Wardens. But how thrilling that a Dalish would also do so much and be seen as Okay. Well, we got... It seems the Keeper has charged you with a difficult task. Do you feel up to it? Of course I do. I am glad to hear that, Lethalon. Surely the creators have directed you to us. That one of our own people comes to us in our hour of need gives us great comfort. You will find yourself welcome here. Okay. I'm trying to... 
go from one side to the other. I want to do one side and then the other. Do they have their hollows? Where are their hollows stationed at, I wonder? Oops, I guess that's what's gonna happen. All right, we got death rid of fire. Right. It's a pretty area. Well, look at there's ruins here. Hmm. Well, there's a hollow right there. This broken moss covered statue once represented. Okay, yep, that's the same thing that was at ours. I know there's an elf. There we are. That's what I was going after. And then her. Or him. Her. Who comes? Anathara. I was so busy attending the Hala, I did not hear you coming. I take it you are the um, clan's master herder? I am indeed. I am Alora, and it is my place to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. In return, the Hala guide us where we need to go. I know she separated this Hala from the herd. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. Mm. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. Is there anything... That must be a hard decision. I wish I could calm her enough to speak with her. We have lost so many of our hunters. I would hate to lose one of our Hala as well. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Uh, I have survival, examine the Hala, pretend to examine the Hala. Try to calm the Hala. No. No, I'm sorry. She isn't calming any more around you than she is for me. Uh, examine the hollow. And? What do you think? You're right, this animal is suffering. Lie? No, I truly cannot tell. I am glad you attempted it regardless. I could kill her quickly if you wish. No, that would not be right. When the time comes, then I will do it myself. It is my duty, as both Master Herder and as, as her friend. She shall take her last breath knowing she was always safest in my care. Quest updated. Laura the Dalish. Herbal curse and may die. You examine the beast but have not discovered the problem. Greater survival skill would likely be needed to tell for certain. Hmm. So I damned if you do, damned if you don't. What you do, huh? There's a pile of sacks up here. Got a hunter. Didn't want to talk to us. There's a chest on the other side. Yeah, insufficient skills, yeah. Uh, it's a hunter. Can we speak to her yet? 
I can't speak to her. She didn't want to be spoken to. Okay. Okay, this is the wood maker. Not the wood maker, but you know, the weapons master. Uh, well, what is this I'm seeing? Oh, that's down there. Okay, there's a chest on the other side of this. A woman. I offer you greetings, Lathalon. Enter. Didn't want to talk. I know there's a... Oh, that's a chest I can't open. Um, tried to speak to you before. She's an elf girl. She doesn't want to spoken to. Let's get started. Woman. I offer you greetings, Lethalon. Welcome to our clan. It is good to see more of my own people from elsewhere. Hmm. You've never met another Dalish? At the last gathering of the clans, I was too young to be permitted to mingle. I look forward to the next. Who are you? I am Gaina. It is a grand thing that you have chosen to become a Grey Warden. I wish I were as brave as you are. Huh. Oh. You don't... You don't think you are? You don't think you are? I am but a humble daughter with no more ambition than to be a humble wife. Is there something I can do for you? Can you answer some questions? I am not sure what I can tell you, but I shall try. Um, tell me about the forest. You would be best to speak to Sayrel. He is our storyteller and knows far more of such tales. Um, what can you tell me about the, about your- Zathrian? He has been our keeper since long before my parents' parents were born. What could you wish to know about him? How old is he exactly? I don't know. Very old. It is said that Zathrian may be one of the first to become as our ancestors were long ago. Immortal. Hmm. But how could that be? Why him and not others? All of us live longer than flat ears, you know that. Is your keeper not also very old? Why Zathrian differs from the others, I do not know. Perhaps he has been blessed by the creators. I want to know something else. What is that? I need some equipment. Master Verathorn should have what you need. Seek him out at the forge. Yeah, all right. Then may the creators bring you fortune. Okay. Hunter. I offer you greetings, Lathalon. Um. All right. We're up it here. Believe me, I saw this statue over here. This should be easy enough. This is a statue dedicated to the Elven Wolf God. Hmm. Her heart, the Dread Wolf. There is, there is precious little we know about the Fern Heart, and for they say he did not care for our people. Hmm. Say that before the fall of and that is how Fern tricked them. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we got something with the name there. You are the Dalish Grey Warden. And Darren it, it is good to meet you. Hmm, thank you. Who, mi who might you be? Doop, doop, doop. I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Why can't you? I suppose there's no harm in telling you. 
You know our ways. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Okay, you mean the young woman by the fire? She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Um, perhaps I could talk to Gaila for you? Why not go into the forest anyway? Have you tried wooing Gaila? Hmm, perhaps I could talk to her for you? I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. Um, have you tried wooing her? Wooing? I don't understand. Have you tried giving her a gift? Romance. Romance her, show her you love her. Not to be blunt, but have you betted her? <laughs> um, romance her, show her you love her. Have you given, tried giving her a gift? A gift? No, that wouldn't be appropriate. Not before we're married. Hmm. How about really showing your love? Um... I've serenaded her, and we've talked many times under the moon. But that doesn't matter if I'm still an apprentice. Not to her. Mmm, me much to ask if you're an editor. Let me think of something else then. Then why do you bother? Because I love her. I really do. I wouldn't expect you to understand. I suppose it would be too much to ask if you'd vetted her. Let me think of something else then. Such as? Um, what if I got a pelt for you? No, I, I couldn't do that. I must kill the beast myself. It is my rite of passage to become a full hunter. Do you want to marry Gala or not? Make a decision. Why not go into the forest anyway? But the keeper said, no, I just can't. What if I encountered a werewolf? I couldn't defeat one of those on my own. Why not come with me then? The Keeper would know right away if I left camp. Masiranis for the offer, however. That's very kind of you. Hmm. Fine. Leave it, have it your way. Okay. Oh, what do you want now? I told you everything already. Can I ask you... There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. All right. Whatever. Um... Oh, what do you want now? I told you everything already. Um, can I ask you some questions? I don't think there's anything I can tell you. My clanmates in the camp would be better at that. Okay. So there's... Oh, nope, there's nothing there. It must be very exciting being a Grey Warden. Greetings, okay. Lethalon. Um... Greetings, Lethalon. I offer you greetings, Lethalon. Hello. I'm not afraid of you. I'm a great Gaelish warrior. Andera Natishan, Lethalon. Would you come and help us break our fast? I would like that. Come then and sit. Join us by the fire. I am Harant Seru. Clan storyteller. You have one in your own clan, I assume. Yes. Mm hmm. Ah, Haren Paivel still lives. That is good, for he was old even when I was but Dalen. How lucky you are to have been reared with his tales. I notice you are not alone. These companions of yours are Grey Wardens like yourself? I am a Grey Warden, yes. Pleased to meet you. Nice campfire you have there. I am a Sten of the Beresard, not a Warden. A Grey Warden? I? 
Bite your tongue, storyteller. Anderun Atishan, enter this place in peace. I do find it odd that any of your kind would so readily follow one of the Dalish. Do you suppose you have been made a Grey Warden simply to get our assistance? Maybe they think we would not live up to the treaty otherwise. You are Barista to meet the value of your clan's help. No. Um, I assure you, that's not the, the case. Oh, you do, do you? No offense, young one, but you don't know half the... Please, Haran Seyril, you are being most unkind to one who is not only of our blood, but also a guest who is here to help us. Of course. I apologize for my rudeness. Our losses have been great, and I am not myself. What did I say that was wrong? Our wife has perished from the werewolf's curse. We are mourning her death here, and many more to come. I'm sorry for your loss. Masirinus. Better her suffering be ended now than for her to have become a, a beast. These have not been easy days for us. And the idea that we may yet have to abandon our ill to their fate. But let us not dwell on our problems. Is there something we can do to help you in your quest? What can you tell me about the forest? I know a few tales. Our clan has passed this way many times before, even when the Shemlin lived in these parts. You wish? I can tell you what I know. It is not a long story. Sure, tell me. Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. And? What does that have to do with the werewolves? So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. This Witherfang still exists today? So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. So there are many spirits in the forest? The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. There were battles in the forest? Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here in slavery? Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. How many werewolves are there? No one knows. When the Shemlin lived in these parts, the curse would spread anew to a few of them with each passing year. They would run off into the forest, never to be seen again. Eventually, all the Shemlin left. One assumes the werewolves survive by passing their curse to their offspring. They have had no new blood. Until now, that is. Have the humans become were have the hunters become werewolves? It is said that one or two have turned already, though the keeper denies it. As for the rest, they will either die or turn, unless they are killed out of mercy. I would rather die than become a ravening, soulless beast, wouldn't you? That's all I need to know. One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Oh, great. Too many have become <laughs> lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. Okay, and I get lost so easily anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be real fun. Anyway, I'm going to close down this episode, and when we come back, we'll do some more 
searching around this um, camp and talk to some more people. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.